Good evening everyone, good evening from Bangkok. It's a beautiful breezy Saturday night and tonight we are going to explore together what's going on in Bangkok at night time. We're gonna check Siam area, Silom area, Sukhumvit and see the night vibe, the nightlife, the good, the bad and the naughty. So it will be very interesting vlog and of course at the end of the vlog we're gonna check where is the best place to be on Saturday night in Bangkok. All right, guys, as you know, that's MBK. We are going to walk this way to enter the new walking street. Once we enter inside, of course, it will be very busy, crowded. Usually, there are lots of events happening every Saturday and Sunday. After that, we are heading towards Siam Paragon. And from there, we are going to take the BTS and head towards Silom to check the real nightlife. As you can see from the beginning of the walking street, it's so crowded. Usually lots of events happen here. You can see how young is this band. They are singing so nice. So this is a beautiful place to start your Saturday night. If you want to start it light, of course, and later to go to the real places to enjoy the nightlife. So this is a beautiful place because every Saturday and Sunday young people come to show their talents. Hopefully my voice is clear because every meter there is a band. And as you can see how young are these artists. This is Thailand guys and hopefully we're gonna have a beautiful Saturday night together. Along the way you can see also there are lots of free things you can enjoy at this walking street. Here people are sitting and watching movies. All right, that was a quick idea about this beautiful new walking street because we have lots of other things to explore in tonight's vlog. Now we are walking towards Seam Paragon and you can see how busy tonight. Usually if you want to see the real picture at these places, you better check it on Saturday night. So. Let's go and check a little bit around Seam Paragon before we head towards Silo. Still the decorations are available around Siam, although Christmas and New Year is over. But if you want to come and take some beautiful pictures, you still have the chance. Let me show you a little bit around and later we're gonna take the BTS and go to Silom. Here we are guys, welcome to Silom. The first thing we are going to check is Pat Pong Night Market. Let's check around a little bit, shopping prices. Later we start checking the real nightlife. One of the most beautiful things tonight is the weather. It's breezy and it's so cool. So it's really important if you want to go out, especially in Bangkok, even at night time. So tonight we are lucky. We are heading now towards Pat Pong Night Market. We are not going to buy anything. Maybe, maybe if we see something interesting, but the idea of tonight's vlog is to show you what's going on in Bangkok at night time, especially on Saturday night. You have to be very careful while you are walking because tuk-tuks, taxis, motorbikes, there are no sidewalks at night time. Silom is a very beautiful place to stay because you can see 
there are the sidewalks but at night time tuk-tuks motorbikes sometimes they drive on the sidewalks welcome to Pat Pong night market I have made entire vlog about this place nowadays Pat Pong night market at the beginning is about street food cannabis and at the second section is about shopping usually the prices here are cheaper than other touristic places in Bangkok so big section of street food lots of people are sitting enjoying their food before they start checking the nightlife maybe okay. this is it this is the famous pot pong night market a lot of people don't like this place because the prices are so high of course the items are all copy now we don't know first copy second copy but they are copies and the prices are high because as you can see they are not priced once you ask the price they will tell you high prices you have to bargain you have to know what you are buying you have to have an idea about the prices unless you are going to pay a lot first rule everything is copy here for example this traditional Thai pants are 100 Thai baht at Chatu Chai we can market but we don't know the prices at this market hello so it's very crowded I'm trying to show you as much as I can as I said the purpose of tonight's vlog is to show you in general the nightlife but of course along the way if you are in Silom area you should not miss Pat Pong night market you can see the gogo -go bars the bars are at the left and at the right side check this out guys how busy is this market tonight anyway this market was totally closed in the pandemic and now it's almost back you have lots of interesting things from decorations of course copy purse bags and electronics sunglasses are also famous here usually we can find some good quality better than chatu chak we can market but the first rule is one more always hello <laughs> bargain <laughs> usually the sellers get angry when you ask and bargain and you don't buy so keep that in mind guys if you want to buy all right so I was telling that if you want to bargain bargain only when you want to buy but if you don't want to buy don't bargain anyway guys now we are almost at the end of the market let's walk a little bit at the back side you have lots of massage parlors and of course the bars the gogo -go bars and the nightlife chuk chuk what uh, walking around there will be lots of people telling you let me show you bars go go bars ping pong show street food along the way don't follow anyone it's really easy to navigate in Silom you go out from one soy and enter the other one Pat Pong is for shopping and the other soys are usually for nightlife one of the naughty nightlifes one of the naughty soys in Silom area is Tanya Street
there was a small idea about this street this crazy street lots of karaoke bars if you want to check your singing abilities then don't forget Tanya Street I am sure once you are there you will be a pro singer all right lots of interesting places let's have a beer refresh ourselves cool up a little bit later we are going to Sukhumvit we're gonna take the MRT to Sukhumvit station along the way you can see lots of tuk-tuks you don't have to take tuk-tuks taxis you can take either the BTS or the MRT so let's have a drink and see you in Sukhumvit Welcome to Sukhumvit, still so busy, lots of people, it's almost 11.30, the public transportation stays till 12.30. First of all guys, we are going to check one of the most famous red light districts in the area, Soikai Boy. Later we are going to lower Sukhumvit to check Sukhumvit 11 and of course Soy Fort. Welcome. To Soy Cowboy, guys, one of the oldest red light districts in Bangkok. Saturday night, lots of people, lots of nice bars, pubs, no restaurants. <laughs> anyway, let me show you a little bit around. It's so noisy here. Later, maybe we sit somewhere, have some beers, and I'm gonna give you also an idea about the prices in. 2024 all right guys as usual the beers are 120 baht to 160 Thai baht if you are going to sit outside outside the bars and they are around 220 till 280 baht if you are going to sit inside to enjoy some shows and of course it all depends on your budget let's walk to lower Sukhumvit before the lights get red nowadays as you can see there are lots of new restaurants along the way in Sukhumvit area. These places were totally different. Now you have restaurants, seafood and many many options as you can see this is one of them. Nana Seafood is just next to Terminal 21 and of course in each every so you have a wheat shop. This is Cloud9. Now they are more than 7-Elevens. Before I used to say you can find many 7-Elevens in the same street, in the same soy. Nowadays you can find many wheat shops in the same street. Anyway, let's keep walking. <laughs> Finally guys, here we are. This is Sukhumvit 11. It's really a mission to walk at Lower Sukhumvit, especially at night time and moreover, especially on the weekends. So here we are, this is Sukhumvit 11, the big 7-Eleven at the beginning of the soil. We don't want to buy anything from here. Lots of chuk chuks at the beginning of the soil too. Let's walk around. And of course, all of you know this famous soy. Lots of pubs, bars, restaurants, money exchange, nice hotels, budget and luxury. If you want to stay in it so you have everything, then Sukhumvit 11 is the place. Nowadays you have lots of new restaurants and pubs. Things are changing in Sukhumvit 11 very fast. Before you had street food, now the street food is gone. Yeah. You had at the opposite side massage parlors, they are also gone. High rise 
new condos are taking place. Zanzibar is back. That Zanzibar, it's a nice place to sit, have some drinks, live music. Lots of people like to stay here. As I was saying at the opposite side now, they are going to be high-rise condos. But at this side, you have new restaurants, Indian food, 7-Elevens, money exchange, and weeds. All right, here we have two pubs and bars I like to sit. This is one of them. Sports bar, Mullis, and at the opposite side you have Old German Beer Bar. Now let's walk till the end of the soy. Later we come and sit in one of these beer bars and of course have a beer. Welcome to Sukhumvit Soy 4. Check this out guys, it's full, crowded, busy. I think this is one of the busiest soys for nightlife in Bangkok. You have lots of street food options. I don't know if it's a good idea to eat from here. Let me know your opinion if you have ever tried to eat from the street food section in Soy 4. This is the adult playground, Nana Plaza. Let's walk a little bit around. Later on, maybe we sit at Hooters Club and have a beer. Because these bars at this side, they are full. And I don't prefer to sit here because we cannot talk or vlog. All right, that was soy four, no comment. Now we are at the opposite side, soy three, as you can see. The traffic, 1 a.m., this is Bangkok. This is kind of Arabic soy, lots of restaurants, pubs, and massage parlors. We are not here to have a beer. After having six or eight, I forget the number, we are going to have a snack. Let's go. All right, guys, finally, we are next to Asok Station. This is the end of tonight's vlog. Hopefully, you like it. It was an idea about what's going on at nighttime in Bangkok in some of the major nightlife spots in Bangkok, like Silom and Sukhumvit. Thank you for watching. See you. Stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.